It's Saturday, June 6, 2024, and we're at Disneyland Park. Yeah, about ready to go on the Adventureland Treehouse inspired by Walt Disney's Swiss Family Robinson. Before I start the video, please subscribe to my channel, and if you like this video, please click the like button. This is the water wheel. Um, I don't remember if this was on the original attraction in 1962. If it wasn't, then this is actually a pretty cool addition. And this is basically the background. And a little bit of trivia. Swiss Family Robinson came out in 1960. The original attraction was opened in 1962 and was closed and refurbished to Tarzan's Treehouse in 1999. And now we are in 2024, and it was reopened on Veterans Day weekend last year in 2023 as the Adventure Land Treehouse. And in the back area here, we've got a nice waterfall going. I'm assuming, I'm not sure, maybe this comes from the Jungle Cruise, the water. I'm going to guess that. Well, I guess I was wrong. This doesn't come from the water from the Jungle Cruise. Apparently, it comes from magical waters that flow beneath the treehouse. Haha. Uh -huh. And this looks like the uh, dining room and combo for kitchen. The only one we have in the bathroom. We put the Apparently the father of the Swiss Family Robinson was uh, jack of all trades. Renaissance man, artist, craftsman, inventor, and chef of our delightful meals. What did mother do? This is Jane the Ostrich. Hi Jane. And there goes Jane. Alright, this is the uh, Wondrous Workshop, and this is where they created everything that we dream of our beautiful treetop home. Translations, these are probably artist conceptions of the remodeled treehouse, including Jane way over there. All right, this is a pottery wheel. And they actually made it so it turns itself so you don't have to sit there and push a pedal. And here's some diagrams of various things that they made, a telescope. A harpsichord over there, maybe? Not sure what all of this is supposed to be, but they were definitely very creative. All right, so they did. Going back to uh, the first area where the dining room slash kitchen was, there was also an ice box, and there is the diagram for the ice box. <laughs> now we get to go upstairs. Well, I was hoping to get a little bit of better shot of Jane here, but apparently the light doesn't want to cooperate with me. Don't do it. All right, the well here only kind of half works. The water wheel works. This is the first landing, by the way, so you kind of get a good look over uh, the beginnings of New Orleans Square and the end of Adventureland. And like I said, one thing they didn't do is these cups should be moving and grabbing water and bringing it up to the treehouse, and they're not. And there's a little gecko, or actually a big gecko. And they've got some wind chimes hanging in the trees too. Okay, apparently mother played music. That's what her job was. And actually not really because the uh, organ plays itself. 
so again I'm wondering what did mother do? I'm sorry if you can't read this, but sitting on that small table right next to that pan flute is Tarzan of the Apes. I wonder if Disney's having a little fun at themselves with that, considering this used to be the Tarzan Treehouse. And maybe even a little bit more fun, the uh, book on the small table there next to the lamp is Swiss Family Robinson. Aha! Uh -huh. This looks like it was the bow of their ship when they crashed. And they turned it into a sitting room with a view of the outside. Here's another little dedication hanging on the wall to Mother. Other than the, this depicting the moon and stars, I'm not sure what it's supposed to signify, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, and it's probably depicting that this is the astrology room. Or astronomy room, sorry, not astrology. Good lord. Why did I even say that? The astronomy room. With the telescope that we saw the diagram for earlier. Some charts. A depiction of the solar system. And apparently this was the daughter's obsession. And this looks like the aft window off the ship. So they put it to good use. better look at the telescope and some of the other stuff that is in the astronomy or astrology astronomy room why do I keep wanting to say astrology Yeesh. caution fire ants hmm. I imagine how fire ants might be a problem I'm not sure if this extinguisher is the best best way to take care of them Probably. Uh, this is one part of the treehouse you can't get to. Looks like it was some sort of observation post. Alright, the next area is for the twins. And if I recall my movie correctly, they loved all the animals, including Jane. I actually think they rode Jane. And you can see some of the animals. You've got a monkey swinging. You've got a toucan. You've got a lot of birds. Frogs. That I don't know if that's a gecko or whatever kind of lizard that is. And we've got a little phonograph here. This spot also represents the highest part you can get to in the treehouse as you're looking directly at the flag that hangs over Pirates of the Caribbean. And way off in the distance there you can see the Columbia. And this is the top which I was discussing earlier where the cups don't move. The bamboo cups don't move, but they should be, and they should be filling up that well right there, so they have fresh rain water, but I don't know if it's not working because it's not supposed to work, or if it's broken. Oh my gosh, I can't read it. And we are something and something. Yeah, I can't read that either. And this is probably where they got a lot of their ideas for stuff in the treehouse. A direct guide to treehouse living. And there's a very old phonograph with some very old records. And we're heading on our way down. Something we missed on the way in is 
the turtle is helping them apparently do some excavation work. Although, he isn't working very hard. And here's a close-up of what I was looking at earlier with the excavation. They got a lamp, got a hammer, chisel, they got some other tools. Not sure what they're digging here. We also get a look at closer look at the waterfall. I got a few little lizards here. And it goes right under that little bridge. Alright, this is some more information. Uh, wheelchair accessible experience. Available. Huh, must have missed that part. And anyone under seven has to be supervised by someone who's 14 or older. And I guess you need to be able to walk on your own. Final thoughts on the Adventureland Treehouse inspired by Walt Disney's Swiss Family Robinson. The walk is actually easier than it looks. There's a lot of places where you can rest if you have a hard time walking up and down stairs. I didn't think it was that taxing and neither did my wife. My biggest problem with all of this is even though they're calling it Adventureland Treehouse, it's the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. So why are we going back to an attraction that we had in 1999? This attraction, sorry, attractions are supposed to bring people into the park. This does nothing really to move the needle as far as bringing more people into the park. And although it looks really good and it's nice and new and shiny and sparkly, honestly, in my opinion, it's one of the areas where Disney is not doing a good job of managing their money when it comes to the parks. And in later weeks, I'm going to be talking about that. But for now, this is the end of the free video, so please get out.